The next tool that I love to discuss and share what's really worked for me is reframing the thoughts. And I know that this mindfulness and awareness exercise that I just shared is very tied to this. Uh, and that's why I did that. I wanted to show here is an example of a mindfulness uh, technique that can support that. Uh, however, we're not always in a space where we're laying on our bed and listening to Delta Wave music and having earplugs in and in complete silence. What happens when we have thoughts when we're actively out and about in the world? Like, let's say we're actually playing golf or we're at work or, uh, you know, I mean, you name a thousand different ways that we're actually in motion. It's really hard to just stop and be in stillness. And so that's why I wanted to bring up this secondary tool that kind of takes the practicality of the mindfulness exercise and, and brings practicality into like an, and just everyday action. And so reframing is so important. And the way that the best way that I found to do that is to learn how to catch myself. And, um, I'm gonna kind of back into this a little bit because one of the first things that Amber ever shared with me was to eliminate words from my vocabulary. And the first word was the word try. And uh, Yoda does a really, really great one. It says, do or do not, there is no try. Do or do not, there is no try. And Amber did a great job of expanding upon that and saying, okay, because try doesn't actually exist, you can't try to pick something up. You can't try to do something. As Yoda said, it's either done or it is not done. And so the moment she said, just bring awareness of how often you say try and catch yourself. Wow, was that an eye-opening experience for me? It really, shifted the whole dynamic because I did not realize how often I was saying the word try. And it was centered around things and I, once I actually had the recognition, it took a couple weeks to really start to catch myself. And once I got in that flow of catching myself, I started to take it to the next step, which was realizing, well, where's the word try coming in the vocabulary? Like, where am I expressing it? Well, I was often expressing it into aspects of my life that weren't completed that I wasn't good at, that I was actively saying that, you know, this was negative self-talk. This is where I was feeling self-doubt. This is where I was stuck in fear loops. And that's where I started to use the word try. That was the pattern I was creating because it was a way for me to almost feel somewhat good. Like, oh, I tried, like I put in effort, but the reality is I just didn't actually get it done. And that was all, only my responsibility to overcome that. And so the best way to do that was to learn how to reframe it real time. So when I got used to recognizing it and then I got used to catching the words, then I was able to reframe it. So if I said, for example, you know, I'm trying to do this, I would be like, I'm trying, hold on, I am. And then I would rephrase the word, something like, you know, actively seeking to get better at the short, at my short game in golf, because uh, it's an area that just really needs more attention and improvement. And from there, then I can grow the rest of my game, right? And so saying, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get better at golf. It got me really focused on what I actually desire to achieve and then gave me specificity around that and then gave me an action step. Reframing can help us move into action steps, which is the third stage. And so we'll, we'll touch on that in a moment. But the more that we can be really focused on reframing our words and we catch ourselves, whether we're saying it out loud or to ourselves, that's so critical. So this one, you can be anywhere or be doing anything and you can start to really catch yourself. After this video today, you know, start to catch yourself. Where are you saying negative aspects? Where are you providing words of self-doubt to yourself? Where are you keeping yourself limited by fear? instead of overcoming that fear and expressing values and words of self-love.